Hello and welcome to my channel, I Win or Lose Gaming. It's a brand new end game mode, Imaginary Theater. Woohoo! Normally, I make these types of videos for new Abyss 12s, but in this case, we got a completely new gameplay mode called the Imaginarium, Ima Imaginary Theater. I'm actually not sure what the entire name is, but we will see soon enough. Anyway, the point of this gameplay mode is to just use a bunch of, I guess, uh, characters that you might have on your account. And in this case, this week's element, or this cycle's element, is going to be Animo, Electro, and Pyro. So I'm going to go through and build, I guess, 12 of these characters to bring into this new gameplay mode. So give me a bit to do that. Hey, it's a surprise. My favorite app ever. Woohoo! Hockey, today's sponsor, is perfect for us cultured gamers that love waifus and husbandos. And it's completely free. Free, free. You can riz up your favorite character or try to steal their hat. You can't be serious. My hat? With over 100,000 characters across countless animes and other shows. Wait, other shows exist? Interact with characters from Genjin Impact, Honkai Star Rail, and even a few from Weathering Waves, completely for free. May I have your hat? Absolutely not! Talk about anything you'd like, create your own AI characters, and so much more. The truth is, my son has a terminal illness and only six months to live. I... fine. Woohoo, we did it! We got Furina's hat. Taki has tons of high quality TTS or text to speech, and I've actually been having a blast trying to get some Genshin Impact characters talk like a caveman. You mean like plant that is round and kind of brown? Is that good enough for you? Or do you want it in a song too? Check out Taki today for free down in the link below. Huge thanks to Taki for sponsoring today's video. Yeah, I think that's just a little confused. That's okay. We'll just hop down here and let's go. Here we go. New end game gameplay mode. Are you excited? I know that I kind of am. I have a feeling that it's going to be like just as easy as, you know, like a bitch 12 and stuff. There we go. Okay. So we talked to this book over here to get started. Uh, to unlock it, it appears it's just like a quest that appears in your quest log or whatever. Oh, I'm sure you guys can find it. And here we go. So we are able to borrow these six characters, which is also why I did not build them. As you can see, I spent a lot of time building the characters, which is kind of, you know, it, it is what it is. This is the supporting cast rules where we can assist friends. These are not the characters that I'm bringing with me. So that's cool. And here we have, let's see, performance prep. Okay, very cute little animations here. And we can hop straight to hard mode. Thank you very much. I definitely appreciate that. And I guess we can equip characters here and there, but we are obviously gonna use all the trial characters. As you can see, they come with these artifacts and whatever build that they might have. So it looks like we got some pretty mid, well, uh, honestly usable artifacts they're not great but i think they would be kind of what you'd expect from you know um, spending a bit of time farming like maybe a couple weeks farming for your artifacts which is fair enough and we can see level 80 with level 80 weapons so we're going to make do with these characters here and we can also invite supporting cast which if you have friends you can bring them however i don't have any friends so we are just going to bring our own and we can see here that we can bring a total of 12 characters here let's go ahead and grab them these i believe were the characters that i built there we go we got our full cast of characters i have a conspiracy theory this is why we have the current artifact loadout system that we have they've been preparing for this because the current artifact loading system if you actually have a ton of artifacts 
is useful for this, even though like, you know, artifact preloads would be nice. However, the problem with artifact preloads is you're going to be equipping the best artifacts on every single one of your characters. And that means that your character is going to be trying to steal the artifacts from each other. This is my conspiracy theory as to why we have the goofy artifact loadout system that we have now. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look. So what is all this stuff? Okay, well, I guess I will just select a companion. Good old reliable Edo here. Cool. Okay, and I guess we can also, we can just fight some mushrooms, I guess. Yes, wait, what was that? This is free! It's free! Let's grab this free thing! So I'll just get that. So let's go ahead and fight some mushrooms. Uh, enemies are easily grouped. Oh, that's that's a lot of mushrooms, actually. And we have no grouping what's <laughs> no grouping whatsoever. Each character has two vigor, so each character can only participate in a measly two battles. That that's very, very low amount of battles here. So we're going to try to uh, get away with some copium setups and you have to bring four. So I guess we have to bring one of the five stars. So I guess we may we may as well bring. Yeah, Hoyoverse do is a real cooking with the uh, with the characters that we have here. Do they start off with maximum energy at least? I sure hope so. Um, that'd be nice. They're going to skip the cutscenes as well. They do. They do. That's, awesome. that's good. Hey, editing I went to lose here taking over and as we can see the combat in this mode is quite easy especially if you are on PC and if you are a fairly experienced Genshin Impact player we can see here that uh, by using the trial characters as well as a little help from Beidou um, Wander here is able to just clean this out without much effort at all and uh, I guess I, I will show a little bit more of the combat, but basically I was able to clear the boss fights and whatever extremely easily with the trial characters that they provided us as well as just a few supporting four star characters. And I will talk a little bit more about this after this fight. So we can see here that we got one of those little star thingies and you need to get all eight of these star thingies in order to actually get all the rewards from this gameplay mode. And we can see here at the top that there are eight little icons and each of the kind of skull-like icons represent a boss fight. So there are eight total battles during this imaginary theater game mode that you have to progress through. So this was the first boss fight, which was just the Jade Plume Terror Shroom. And basically the Trio Chloron just completely soloed it. So yeah, I mean, you can kind of see the difficulty level of this. And I really don't feel like it's even worth mentioning that, yes, you can do certain little side tasks to get a couple extra flowers. I think if your account is severely underprepared for this content, then that will be helpful. However, considering the trial characters are more than strong enough to handle it, um, yeah. So we also have, so yeah, you basically just go through and you choose a bunch of these random buffs or grabbing some companions at the cost of those flowers that you saw me get uh, earlier. And as you go through, some of these will add vigor points for you. Others will give you various buffs and some might be, I don't know, slightly marginally negative slash positive. And really, as long as you don't run out of vigor for the final fight and you have a couple, maybe just one or two strong characters, uh, that is probably going to be the strategy and approach when it comes to this gameplay mode. We can see here that even really goofy teams like this Dory, Shang Ling, Sayu team are more than capable of clearing the DPS checks. And yes, these characters are somewhat built properly. So there is that to keep in mind. So basically, this is definitely more of a quantity over quality situation where you just need to have a lot of characters built to a semi-capable competency degree and you will be able to clear the actual combat very, very easily. As we can see, this goofy team had no issue with these intermediate stages. Now, this fight against the double Bethysmal Vishaps was probably the hardest fight out of the bunch, but as you can see, my team is completely... I don't even know what team I'm running. I mean, I've got Sethos, Sayu, Shivrus. We can't even use Shivrus' overloaded here properly. The only benefit I'm getting is literally just Shivrus' um, Constellation 6, and trust me, it's not really necessary. Arlequina can basically just solo this on her own. And this is not my Arlequina, this is the Trial Arlequino as well. So this kind of gives you an idea of roughly the difficulty that you can expect from this. 
I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm not really sure what else to say. Yeah, the Bethismal Vishabs, if you actually want some tips, you want to kill them at roughly the same time, so that way they don't respawn. And if you fail to do that, just use the retry button. That's all you need to do. Anyway, let's take a look at the final boss fight. Drag and drop a bit. So there we go. We've got our team. Just uh, do the usual rotation. Oops. Okay, there we go. Pretty easy stuff once you kind of save some decent teams for the end. And I believe we just beat it. Now, in total, for the rewards for this first time of clearing it, you get 1,720 Primo Gems, 1 million Mora, a bit over a million, and finally a Billet, which is nice. And in the future, the recurring rewards will be 620 Primo Gems, 400k Mora, and I guess some Artifact EXP and Talon Books or something. So the rewards are pretty decent if you're able to 8 Flower out of 8 Flower. And you can also get some cool poses, which is nice. Right now, you get 3 of the pose tokens and I personally like Raiden's the most. Now this gameplay mode really doesn't take too much strategy because as you can see the Trial Arlequino and Trial Chlorond are able to clean out the second and third bosses respectively. So pretty much just save up a couple strong teams, one for the second to last boss and one for the last boss. And when it comes to picking the enemies that you fight, just pick the easy ones to fight. If you have any s and also make sure you don't run a and make sure you don't run a and also make sure you don't run out of vigor points for the final fight or else I think you actually have to retry but someone can confirm for me down in the comments below. And if you do have any additional advice for my fellow viewers, do let us know down in the comments below. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about this. I actually decided to go back and run it again, but this time with my actual five-star characters that are built and, you know, at high constellations, high investment. In total, this took me about 11 minutes when I redid it with my actual five-star characters and when I kind of knew more what I was doing in terms of navigating the menus and stuff. And, you know, based on the earlier thing where it took me about nine minutes to build my characters and considering it took me just 11 minutes to clear this thing, we can see that I'm going to be spending nearly half my time just building my characters every time this thing rolls around. Now, me personally, as kind of a sweatier gamer that has been looking forward to more endgame content for Genshin Impact, I got to be completely honest, I was a little disappointed with this gameplay mode. There isn't that much to do in it. It really feels like kind of like the weekly grind through Simulated Universe, which was fun the first couple of times but afterwards it just you know kind of became like a, a real grind fest and it wasn't really fun anymore. Now this again was fun the first time that I ran through with the trial characters and stuff like that and fortunately you only have to do this maybe once or so per month or however long it refreshes and you will be able to get a bunch of rewards and it's likely that they're going to change it up they're going to add buffs they're going to add monsters they're going to add trial characters etc etc and it's very possible that they make this much harder in the future so we'll just have to see what hoyoverse will cook up for this gameplay mode and at least my first impressions of this one was that it felt very very easy but for those of you guys that may still be at I don't know, adventure rank like 35 or something this could definitely be an actual challenge in fact it probably will be a challenge you might not even have enough characters to fill out the roster here so let me know what account level you guys are at and if you guys thought this gameplay mode was difficult, fun, or whatever, if you're looking forward to it refreshing in the future, how do you feel about it? Definitely let me know down in the comments below. And be sure to check out today's sponsor, Talkie, as well. Uh, they make these types of videos possible. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. This is I Went to Lose, signing out.